So, you know, the question really becomes is um, what to do for patients who have residual disease? What, what to do for patients who got neoadjuvant therapy with TCHP? Should we continue progeta or not, protezumab or not? You know, those are the questions that are unanswered. The, you know, again, the overall survival data is, you know, the trial is still maturing. It's only been four, four years out now, literally, since the data has come out. Uh, so the data is still maturing. Um, the question really becomes is long term, right? If you were exposed to pertuzumab and the disease comes back, what are you going to do? Can you again expose them to pertuzumab? Does exposure to pertuzumab in the past affect your outcome when you add on pertuzumab later, potentially? You know? And of course, you know, now we live in a world of where we have to look at the cost of therapy. Cost is not only just physical and emotional toxicity, but also financial toxicities. The cost of the drug, right? That's another thing that we are looking we are looking at very closely now. Now, in terms of so when we talk about toxicities, you know, overall the biggest issue with this drug was really the diarrhea. You know, approximately seven percent uh, increased risk of diarrhea compared to uh, compared to Herceptin.